so um, like in American traditional music, a lot of times the music was handed down from person to person in a family or uh, just from person to person. Somebody would play the tune, the other person would hear the tune, they would play the tune. Is that, is, is this music handed down kind of in an oral tradition or is it, is it all written down? Uh, of course, uh, till the end of 19th century, it was mostly uh, oral tradition. Uh, there were special families with very gifted people. One of them we can uh, show you. Those are our friends. The, the most famous family of Highlander musicians called Trebunia Tutki. And this is uh, Senior Władysław Trebunia. This is a famous book written by Professor Kule of uh, uh, University of California at Santa Barbara. It's this is Making Music in the Polish Tetris. It's in English. He's even teaching about the history of Polish Highlanders music and the roots. And Kostrebunia uh, Tutki are playing with different musicians of the world. Uh, they were most known for two records with Jamaica Twinkle Brothers. They were number one for two years in London as the best folk music of Europe. Uh, the other book, if my wife, my lovely wife can show me, this is the, this is the product of pre-Second World War uh, Polish musicologist, one of the famous Warsaw professor who went down to the Tatras, worked with the best folk musicians, and played with him all the gigs, weddings, baptizing, funerals, and stuff, learning the techniques and writing down the music. This is one of his books. It's printed in 1935 uh, in Warsaw. As you can see, they even uh, produced colored pictures to show the way of playing and uh, customs and uh, uh, ends inside. I don't have a second book. It's even more beautiful. It's whole. Uh, this is about singing. There is another book about making music. There are 108 uh, tunes in it. Uh, it's really great work. Uh, as you know, Polish folk tunes were used by classical music musicians. The best known is Mr. Wieniawski, but also Ch Chopin using it later for piano music. But there's also great musicians known in America, Mr. Paderewski, who played many times before First World War here. He used South Polish and Highlanders tune into his classical tunes, and he presented them here in America many times. So now the Highlanders music is the mixture of verbal tradition and classical tradition. As you show my way of, you know, <laughs> playing the cello and his way of playing violin, they are unorthodox ways. But we play this way because the, uh, there is no way you can, he can keep the, the instrument classical way and, and me either because we are playing gigs like uh, the, the Polish joke about the differences between American and uh, Polish tradition is that American weddings uh, last for hours, Polish weddings last for days or weeks even. <laughs> so if you have to play for a week, you know, you have to uh, develop a special technique of surviving. Right. So uh, this, is, this is the way we play and we sing and uh, uh, we represent uh, 500, thousand Polish people of Chicago and 10% uh, of population in Colorado. 
were Polish Highlanders or uh, owners of nice inns in the restaurants and uh, skiing centers. And you can hear their music sometimes there. So we are really happy that uh, we can present our tradition here in America. So maybe one day we are going to play together with some Appalachian people. <laughs> Song? Yes. Mm -hmm.